Thomas said, no. Last week you said, people should not put a nursery. Did you not fight your son? I said, listen to me. Let me give you one lesson. Number one, if a father says it, that means if my son is wearing a nursery, he should remove it. That's number one. Number two, no, no, no. do you think if Pastor Chris says I should not do this, I will be complaining, oh, what is Pastor Chris saying about me? No, I have to learn. This is my father, I have to follow. But here is what I differentiate that you did not listen to. They are prophets and then they are people who are laymen, who are Christians. Yeah. Do you notice, listen to me, do you know Isaiah? Preached naked for three years. Is nakedness allowed in the Bible? No, but the prophet was allowed. So if a prophet puts nothing or earrings, you can't quit unless God tells you, you can't say that's evil. No, you, you didn't hear what I'm saying. So I hear. No, so, no. That same son, I would be able to say, stop it. I would have said, say, stop it way back. I don't need to say stop it on, on the pulpit. If God would say to me, this one is messing up, I would tell them, stop now. One time I came here and I said, when you mature, deliverance is nothing. And you know what? Somebody told Prophet Bushiri, Prophet Bushiri did not respond in that way. He addressed it on, his, on the pulpit. He said, ah, Papa said, I heard my father said, deliverance, he said, I do deliverance. Someone came to me and said, oh, your father was fighting you. I said, oh, no. If my father is saying deliverance is not there, I have to call him and say, please teach me. You see the, the way of reaction? Different reactions. If Pastor Chris says I'm doing wrong, what do I do? As a soldier, I enjoy it. I say, oh, wait a minute. So you mean this and this and this? Yes, 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 yes. It is. Okay, no problem. I'm changing it. Isaiah would preach naked for three years. Three years. Naked. How do you tell your wife you are going to preach? Ah, uh, baby, I'm just... Um, say, yeah, but uh, I've ironed your clothes. Say, no, 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 no. And here you are begging, going to the door now to go. Say, are you going like that? He said, yeah, yeah. The Lord said, we are going like this. Even your wife will ask for the identity card of, the, of God who spoke to you. Naked? How do you tell Samson, a prophet, kill the lion? Open his mouth with the jaws, break the jaws asunder. Then you tell Daniel, just get in there and chill with the lions. Different rules, different prophets. One prophet is told, eat this food. Another one is told, eat food, but mix it with human feces. You have not read the Bible, my brother. <laughs> Are you getting this? The Bible says there is no not man of God in our midst. This is Paul. He said a man should not have long hair. It's not allowed in the body of Christ. It's written in the Bible. These are rules and laws. So there is a decorum about priests, but there is also decorum about prophets. You can see one prophet with long hair. It doesn't mean to say it's evil. You have to understand what prophets are called to confront. Why was Jonah swallowed by a fish? Because the people in Nineveh believed in a sea god. That's why they were so quick to repent. Why? Because they are decorums for prophets and they are decorums for priests. So you don't just run amok. Angel is fighting this one. Fighting who? These are little kids I have raised. Do you know who I am? And let me give you a sense. Never in your head think you raise me. There is no way an ant can pick up an elephant. There's no way. Hello guys, welcome back again to Gospel Blog. If you are new to my channel, you can subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notification bell icon for more videos. So in today's video is very very amazing. Prophet Tupet Angel explains so many things about prophets in this very particular video and also about fatherhood. 
in his word, he said that many instructions that are written in the Bible is different from what is written about prophets. He said that you cannot judge a prophet until God himself tells you that this thing that this man is doing is right or wrong. In his words, he said that many prophets receive different instructions in the Bible. And that is why you cannot just wake up and start criticizing a prophet because you might not know what God told him or her to do. Because many people were saying that why is it that his sons have dreadlocks and most of them are putting earrings in their ear and also putting nose rings and rest of them. And his, in his word, he said that in as much as those things are not allowed in the Bible, that is not a criteria for you to be criticizing or backbiting them because you might not know what God told them concerning that stuff. So guys, this is what he said concerning all these things. If you are new to my channel, you can subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon for more videos. This food, another one is told, eat food but mix it with human feces. You have not read the Bible, my brother. <laughs> Are you getting this? The Bible says there is no, not men of God in our midst. This is Paul. He said the men should not have long hair. It's not allowed in the body of Christ. It's written in the Bible. These are rules and laws. So there is a decorum about priests, but there is also decorum about prophets. You can see one prophet with long hair. It doesn't mean to say it's evil. You have to understand what prophets are called to confront. Why was Jonah swallowed by a fish? Because the people in Nineveh believed in a sea god. That's why they were so quick to repent. Why? Because they are decorums for prophets and they are decorums for priests. So you don't just run amok. Angel is fighting this one. Fighting who? These are little kids I have raised. Do you know who I am? And let me give you a sense. Never in your head think you raise me. There is no way an ant can pick up an elephant. There's no way.